hello friends hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to like discuss why you shouldn't learn automation and this is not a clickbait so before jumping on to any conclusions just hear me out and uh, in the end you can like disagree with me but still like just uh, think it of from my perspective and uh, i'll like i have jotted down some very cool points and this is going to help you in saving your time so i have seen like recently there is a craze of learning automation endlessly and like without knowing the in and out and most of the time uh, people learn automation just for switching job i also did the same and that was my motivation but if you are like if you are above 8 years of experience then only learning automation is not going to help you so i am going to discuss the same that like if you have 10 years of experience then you can learn automation just for the love of learning things and not for the job switch okay so regarding this point that like only learning automation is not going to help you just keep it in mind because nowadays like after covid things are changing very rapidly and as i can see the like if you if you pick out any jd of of an organization just pick out five organizations okay so the first thing you will notice is that like this is not applicable only for testing but like the it uh, on and whole that most of the like openings are for two to seven years of experience so the first like batch is for two to five years of experience they are junior guys like junior dev or qa and the second uh hot slot is for 5 to 7 or 8 years so i'll uh, keep it like 8 is the boundary line okay and in that also like if you are falling in this category so organization are expecting expecting a lot out of you so only learning automation is not going to help you that was my point okay and this is like mid level and after that like you get into the senior positions and this is more of an architecture point like no one is going to expect you that uh, like at 10 years of experience that you are going to only write code that like just just uh, notice the words that um, like you are expected to write code but not only write code so that was my point so the thing is that um, like if you have like seven years of experience in manual testing only like if you haven't touched any automation then like i'll not recommend you like there can be exceptions exceptions are always there but my videos are for like 90% of the janta who are uh, like who are pretty average that's what i meant to say and like if you have this much experience in manual testing then this is not going to help you mark my words okay then what's the problem you will ask that okay why not learning automation is going to help us in uh, switching the job then the problem is that nowadays believe me that even a 2 years experience guy is having like java selenium or python selenium this is like it's little hard and tough to find uh, c sharp guys but like there is no scarcity of uh, java plus selenium guys okay and like thanks to like uh, good tutors and udemy courses that we have at 2 years of experience this is the bare minimum which is expected and uh, guys are doing pretty well there but the problem arises as you rise up in your career okay till 5 years of experience also you can justify this but as you uh, like as you move towards 8 years of experience then it is expected that you know api also plus like sometimes uh, organization ask for apm okay so these are the additional skills and only this is not going to help you so there is a long road so don't just think that okay in 3 months you are going to learn automation and in more 3 months you are going to uh, learn these things and you are job ready so nowadays organizations have done one more thing that they started asking this uh, uh, coding questions so i'll make a, sep a separate video on the same that how like you can tackle these because 
like you will all agree with me that uh, on your day to day automation you are not expected to reverse a string i mean these are very basic questions uh, you are expected to know but uh, since you haven't practiced uh, coding in last 5 years or 7 years then this become a very tough job okay so you have to like with this also so all this video i am talking about 8 plus guys that if you if you don't uh, know automation then i expect that you are kind of like zero in coding also so you have to improve that part also and it all take efforts so again like this is not impossible that's like try to understand what i'm saying is that like nothing is impossible but still you have to calculate the return on investment that whatever like the efforts you are putting are you getting uh, the same output okay and can you get that much hike which uh, for which you are preparing so and plus like those guys uh, who have like who are in this bracket they have other responsibilities also because uh, you are progressing in your career and uh, apart from the day to day like uh, job you you are expected uh, to lead a team also and like there are a couple of other factors also and maybe you have a kid and you have a family to take care of i mean they are not a hindrance but but you will agree that uh, the amount of time a two years guy can uh, can take out from his day it is not same for a 80 year guy right so again like this is this is all the problem but what's the solution for this like what uh, how can you like if you if you are 8 years of experience and in manual testing then what's the solution for you so what i think is that rather than uh, learning just automation either like make up your mind first you have to clear the basics by clear the basics means uh, your why should be pretty much uh, like you have a very strong why uh, because many times it happens with me and with everyone like uh, we are all are humans that uh, one day we decide like on friday night we decide that okay we are going to learn automation and till monday morning the motivation goes away and we are still stuck at the same place uh, from what we started so until and unless you have that this this thing like is strong why why you exactly want to learn automation and progress then like i think you are going to drop in between so first thing is this then second thing that that nowadays i'm um, like apart from learning automation so you can keep it aside you can like start your cloud journey because nowadays like there is a scarcity of qas who also know cloud okay try to pick up that niche uh, skill and I, i don't know how to pronounce niche or niche uh, that's that's not but you understand what i'm saying that uh, take out those skills which are less in the market okay and maybe like there is a performance uh you can take performance testing because uh, learning jmeter is relatively easy than following this path okay so if you if you are in manual then uh, like manual perf- plus performance makes a good combination that's what i feel so this is it and try to work on your leadership skill and try to move up in the ladder okay again like it is it is very easy to say leadership and communication skills but like anything good takes effort you have to accept that so that was that was my understanding of it if you like don't agree and if you think that there can be better solutions just comment down below and uh, hit that subscribe button for like similar kind of videos so that you don't miss my videos in future that's it guys that's it guys hope you have a nice day bye take care